All right, guys, welcome back. I am so sorry that it take, took me forever to get this reveal video to you guys. For everybody who left comments asking when in the world I was going to uh, make this reveal video, I am so, so sorry. But I finally done it, guys, and I've got it together, and I cannot wait to show you the end result of this amazing library renovation. Uh, but first, I wanted to walk you through how I built the bookshelves that go around the sofa in the library. So first off, a lot of plywood that I had to cut. If you're doing this type work, don't use this method where you put the board down. Get you one of these made by Craig. Uh, just nice straight cuts. You gotta take your time. Uh, you know, double check everything, but can't recommend this enough if you don't already have like a really nice table saw, which I did not. Uh, so definitely get you one of those. I will put a link in the description. Uh, another great tool made by Bora. It's a centipede work stand. So I effectively made like a four by eight work surface. Invaluable. Uh, this is a clamp that I used. Uh, I think I'm going to show you guys, yep, how I made the little bases that put the cabinets on, which then the bookshelf sat on top of. And so uh, just really great to make some nice 90 degrees there. All right, got to get everything level. And then I put the cabinet, which uh, I did purchase these, so I did not make the cabinets, but I put those right on top of those two by fours and kind of came out from the wall a little bit to give it a little bit more of a stout look. And then those two by fours back there, I'm gonna show you a little diagram kind of of what I did here. Um, those were to take the weight of the bookshelves that I built. So pre-made cabinet base, I got the two layers of ply, and then you'll notice that I've got these two layers of ply kind of pitched slightly forward so that all the weight is basically coming down on those two by fours. And then I screwed everything into the studs in the wall. And so that way I don't have a lot of weight, much of any weight, sitting on those pre-made cabinet bases, which are not made for uh, weight to go on there. So here's just another view of that. All right, uh, this is showing a little jig that I made, uh, and I'll try to find a link to the YouTube video that I watched uh, to figure out how to do this, but this I use for all of my dado cuts. So all of the shelving that you'll see, I did dado cuts in. So nice, strong, uh, really sturdy shelves for these uh, bookshelves. Now, uh, you'll, it is a little bit tricky when you're uh, routing this out. You gotta be really careful. I clamped everything down, but you'll see this next shot here. Uh, did not do a good job, and watch how it kinda, it, oop, yeah, see it kinda went off to the side a little bit there. Uh, yeah, just be really careful. That one did end up being okay. So anyhow, just a word of caution on that. And again, I'm not a carpenter. So before you make a comment, I'm not a carpenter. This was seriously the first time I've done something like this. So yeah, it's basically, I just made three boxes really. Uh, and then I did those, you see those dado cuts that I did and that's where I slid the shelves in. So show you guys how I did that. You'll see I tacked up a temporary little support there to keep everything nice and straight. So I did use lots of long bar clamps and I think I borrowed these from a friend. I, I believe they're from Harbor Freight. They're not the best, uh, but they, they definitely did the job. Uh, I think I put the glue on the wrong side here. Yep, let's wipe all that off. All right, so gluing up and then I use little, if I remember right, one inch, I think they're uh, one, one and a quarter inch um, finish screws uh, that I put to secure these in as well. So they are both glued and screwed in there, super strong.
All right, so here's a side view of those dado cuts. And then, uh, yeah, I, I put a solid piece of uh, plywood all over the entire back of it. You'll see those reference lines I have so I know where my shelves are. All right, so I'm not gonna actually show every single box that I made. Uh, this is basically the same process that I use for all of them. All right, so lifting this bad boy in place. All right, I had my good friend Josh and a neighbor from across the street help me with this final piece here. You know, it was a struggle getting that thing in there. Um, I had measured and measured and measured, uh, but still it was such a tight fit. Uh, of course, we did get it in there, but uh, you'll see we had some trouble. I to get my wife to come in and help us with it. I should have used a block of wood uh, while there while, where I was hammering because I did make a few kind of minor dents uh, there that, that do kind of show, but it's, it's kind of one of those things that only I know is there. And there it is. So, and I did end up facing all of this with like a one by two material. So without further ado, here is the reveal. 